Welcome to the Adhocracy Show on today's show. What is a QR code? I just learned about it. Is it already dead? Uh, and a moving tribute to the QR code. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm J.D. Melville. And I'm David Landine. And welcome to the Adhocracy Show, your weekly source for advertising, marketing, art, and design. And if you are here for the first time, please click the subscribe button. Uh, that will notify you every Monday when we release our new shows. Yeah. Every Monday we have something new come out. We have actually two shows, the Prehocracy Show mm -hmm. and the Adhocracy Show. Our journey of love questions is over, so we've continued on with some games, and we've done tongue twisters, we played Pie Face last week, so I mean, you know, every, every week it's something different, and it's just a little bit more fun. Yeah. I don't know. Here's, here's a little clip from, from, uh, from this week's Prehocracy. Uh, don't not write down my order, <laughs> because you're going to do it wrong, I know it. Don't. Okay, so, so go on over there and uh, check that out after the video or right now or whenever you feel like it. Yeah. Um, so today we are talking about our good friend, the QR code. Now, if you have no idea what this is, don't worry, you're not alone. Uh, actually, what is it, 97% of Americans or of people don't even know what the QR code is. So uh, what is the QR code? So the QR code was invented in 1994 by a, a gentleman named Denzo Wave. Um, this QR code was actually created for the Japanese automotive, 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 industry, automotive industry, where uh, they to track produce the automotive cows and bangs. <laughs> <laughs> for the automotive industry, oh, this, sense. it was it was used to track basically a car that was going along the thing. They could scan it, and it would give them information and, and things like that. So that that was its initial use. Um, it it it's a very impressive piece of technology. Um, it's called a, a 2D barcode or a matrix barcode because it's not just a line. Okay. Um, it can it can stack more information um, in there. Plus, it it can it has some very impressive storage data. Yeah, so it can actually uh, hold, let's see, the maximum 7,089 characters, uh, alphanumeric is 4,296 characters, binary uh, it's 2,953 characters, and kanji slash kana is 1,817. So really, I mean, some pretty impressive data storage. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, that's that's a lot of information that can be stored in a QR code. The idea behind it is that you scan it, I guess, with your phone, and then it does something. Yeah. It, I mean, it can be used, it's been used for, for calendar events, uh, contact info, geolocation. Uh, yeah, you can set up Wi-Fi passwords. You can actually pay with it. You can actually, like, scan something and pay um, for things. Um, you can do passports, you can do websites, you can do video. I mean, it, you can link it to all sorts of things. On paper, this should have worked. Yeah, it was, well, let me, let me in, in case you haven't seen one, I've got some examples of QR codes, and I'll just hold those up as we're, uh, as we're going along. Yeah, see, like, on paper, it should have worked. On so paper. why didn't it? Why, or is, the QR code dead? So yeah, let's, let's talk about whether what are the reasons why it may have died? What are what are some of the things? Um, first off, like David Landine said, there was ninety seven percent of the world that really didn't know what it was. I mean, you would you would see it. It was this QR code, and you know, okay, you know, especially in marketing, people are like, oh, you've got to have a QR code. Yeah, QR code everywhere, and they did. They put QR codes, but it wasn't everywhere. understood. And and that's that's one of the things is if you don't know what it is, how are, how are you going to use it, right? Yeah. I think another big reason, I think for me this is the biggest reason, is that there was no native application on phones that would automatically scan the QR, the QR code. You had to take out your phone, open a separate application, mm -hmm. scan the QR code, and then it would do something. But it wasn't, I, I mean, originally I thought this is awesome. Like 
I bet all phones, because this is so great, all phones probably just have it in the camera app. So you just like hold it up and it automatically takes a picture. I get my phone, I take it, it like, nothing happened. Yeah, it wasn't native. And, and would it be annoying if it was native? I've, I've talked to some people who, who do have it natively in their phone and you'd be, you know, taking a picture and all of a sudden like, <laughs> ding, ding, uh, oh, you know, uh, here's an ad. <laughs> so it could be, it could be rather annoying if it, you know, it, it would had to have been made that way. But there wasn't also an app that was the front runner for this. There was no app that was like, this is the app you get to do to use this technology. There were thousands of them. Yeah. So you had to go through the, like you're saying, through the effort of down, like finding one, downloading it, opening it up, taking a picture. And after all of that effort, <laughs> you'd usually like get taken to a website where you would be like, oh, that's it. Or... You would get taken. I mean, there there was no payoff. There's rarely, I guess I should say, there was rarely a payoff. There were a few companies yeah. that really got creative. I remember IKEA sent a QR code in their magazine, oh. and you would put it in the corner, and then you would hold your phone up, and it would it would it was more of oh, that's right, it was, it was like more a, like augmented reality. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah, would yeah. show you what that furniture would look like in your in that space. And that, that's maybe another thing is that um, the QR code oftentimes got um, mistaken for augmented reality as yeah. well. Like the little thing that basically helped the, the phone know where something was yeah. and its scale. Um, one of the other things was that um, it would be put on places where it would be hard to access. Um, like a billboard um, behind a car on the side of a bus. Can you imagine driving down the road? You're like, oh, okay, look at my phone. All right, all right, all right, which app is it? Which app is it? Oh, right here. Okay, oh. I actually, I actually got a picture of a car with a QR code on it this past week. I'll post that as well so that you can just laugh along with me. Um, but it was also put like in subways where you may not have had internet access yeah. and it wouldn't have led you anywhere. So it just, they really didn't know how to use it. Um, and and if that's the thing, if you go through all that effort and you you're not rewarded for it, right? You're yeah, not, that's... you're not given a uh, something like. Most of the time, it was just sent to your URL, right, to a to a website, and it wasn't um, mobile friendly, and there wasn't anything more interesting. And I mean, for the most part, we're all used to typing in www.yoururl.com. dot com. Mm-hmm. So why not give them a short URL instead? Yeah, and especially with phones now, where you can just touch it and click, and yeah. it'll take you there, rather than I don't know. I I I I see the thought process because I've used QRLs or QRLs. 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 <laughs> Those are the, that's the next generation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I was trying to like promote the QRL, <laughs> but it just. No one you know. wants your, your defunct technology, David Lane. <laughs> that, that was out the window. Well, I, you know, I've used them and I've used them incorrectly. And mm-hmm. I understand why uh, it is may have died. Well, yeah, I and, may have killed and, it. And on marketing marketing side as well, you know, the way of tracking it was kind of complicated. You had to find different ways of tracking it. And and it may have had many too many steps on on that side to really track it. And so you know, if you can't really prove that these things work, that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, how are you really going to yeah. show that you that they're important, right? But but there are still those out there who use QR codes. Yeah. I mean, if, if you use one of these wonderful QR codes, we've got a couple different ways to, to show you exactly how or why or how you can use them still. First, you need to explain what the QR code is going to do. Mm-hmm. You need to make sure that there is a reason for scanning it, not just to take them somewhere that they may not want to go, but, you know, it's kind of a click here for more information, scan QR code to see a video or to just let, let them know what's going to happen if they scan it. Yeah, so that when they go through all that effort, um, it gives them exactly what they, they know what they're getting. Now, if you don't explain yourself, make sure there is a really good payoff. Yeah, and that that's maybe the biggest thing is that no one really wants to work that hard for an ad. I heard that quote somewhere and I thought that was genius. I don't want to work that hard for an ad. If the ad has some kind of great payoff, it's if it's funny, I mean, like the ad, I, I do remember... Um, an ad where you would scan a QR code, put your phone on it, and it would it was in a like a movie scene, like it oh, showed a cityscape, cool. and it you put it down, and there was this big foot that like came in and stomped on all the cars. One that I really liked was a resume that had just a face, and there was a, a phone with a QR code for the mouth, and then you would scan the QR code, 
and put your phone there and then it would be a mouth and it would be talking. So it's like this person like talking about like their their qualifications. I was like, there that's a good way of doing it. Like that's I yeah. like that. Yeah, and that I mean that's that's the big thing. If you're doing all that work, reward them. I mean, if if you're gonna have them uh, you know, scan it and it signs up for that your email, give them a free muffin. You know, if you if they do if they scan it, reward them in some way so that they feel like they went through all that effort for something. If you're just gonna send them to a website, just use a shortened URL. I mean, that's really all that you want for, or need for a website. Now, um, maybe use it for a Wi-Fi setup. That might be a good way of doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, there's 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 also um, different ways that you can u- use it to be, like, secretive. Like, it, it, people who are in the know, you know, you might know who these people are. And so here's, here's a secret little thing that you can put in there. And, ooh, this is interesting. I feel like Snapchat has done a good job. Oh, yeah. Of, of using the QR code in a good way. Like, they're, you're, you're a little icon for Snapchat can be used as a QR code to friend somebody or to yeah yeah that they they have used account. it in a very great way and and people know exactly what it what it's used for and how it works and and that's a great use of a QR code um, one of the other things is um, you could use it for like after sales support so you know after someone has purchased a, a large item at maybe has a especially in our industry where we work in dental um, we use QR codes and, and we take them to videos that show how the dent, how the, the procedure how is. Video. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very it useful. Extra support for, that. for the product they just that they purchased or may want to purchase. Yeah, you can all. One of the other things is that you should also do A/B testing. So if you're going to use a QR code, um, do it. Do some A/B testing with how. Um, whether this is being used with a short or a short URL is being used, then you can really tell and see if, uh, if if it's being used and how effective it is, because they do take up a lot of space. I mean, they they can get very complicated depending on what's what information's in them, right? Um, so you you know, I'll absolutely do some some stuff out there. But sadly, we feel like the QR code is dead. Yeah, unfortunately, we've uh, we've we've seen our friend perish. And when somebody dies, it's important to pay tribute. It's important to look back on their life and really offer up your respects. So we would like to give our eulogies to our good friend, the QR code. QR code. (laughs) We had some fun together. I remember one time when I didn't scan you. Uh, because I knew it wouldn't take me anywhere that I wanted to go. I remember that other time when you were in that magazine and I didn't scan you because uh, I didn't really want to open a second app. And oh, uh, we had some good times. There was that time where, yeah, you were on the billboard when I was driving down the street, and I didn't scan you because I didn't want to die uh, like you are now. QR code, we barely knew you. You were so young. You were only born in 94. It really makes me consider the gravity of life and marketing tools. I do remember some good times. A few times, you know, you took me to a rewarding place. Like the fudge brownie recipe in the Betty Crocker commercial. It was beautiful. I feel bad for making fun of you. You know, like when you were a tattoo, I, I didn't understand what you what you were, what you could be, what information you could hold for us. And I truly hope that a QR code would be placed on your tombstone, like others have done, to tell of your life and the things that you have accomplished. I will remember you fondly down the road when talking of other defunct 90s technologies, like the Walkman. We will miss you. All right. All right. Well, I feel like I feel I feel good. I I feel like I can move on. Yeah, we can now lay down the QR code and and move on from this. You know, are there uses of the QR code that you have seen that you would like to eulogize? Are there places that have been ridiculous or amazing? And have there, have there ever been really good payoffs to your QR code scanning? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for liking, watching, subscribing, and sharing this video. And make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Is there anything else? 
I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> if and for for our made up fact of the day, if you subscribe to this video, just right down here below. Yeah. We can finally bury and put to go to rest our good friend, the QR code. Do it for the QR code. R.I.P. Uh, don't not write down my order because you're gonna do it wrong. I know it. Don't smuggle nuclear weapons into America.